It wasn't long ago that QPR played in the Premier League, signing players like Jibril Cisse. But since relegation in 2015, it's been miserable for QPR fans. So it's time to rebuild them for the next five seasons on Football Manager. Dad, QPR seems to be in a bit of trouble at the minute. Yeah, uh, yeah, they yeah. need us desperately. Yeah. They also didn't have a lot of players. And we might have had a bit of a trouble at the start of the season here. Now, if we take a look at our tactic, I'm running this. Right. I'm only running one up front. That one is Lyndon Dykes because we don't actually have a second striker in the team, unfortunately. And Lyndon Dykes has been out injured for pretty much the start of the season. So I had no striker <laughs> whatsoever. So my plan was to use this tactic. However, I had to use a tactic without a striker at the start of the season. So for the first couple of games, I trialed my mate Guido Mary's strikerless tactic that he sent me. Just to see what it was like while I didn't have a striker. It worked quite well. It was all right. But we're not going to use that going forward, no, all right? Okay. I've just had to use that because I didn't have a striker. Now that Lyndon Dykes is potentially coming back and we're simulating, we're going to this. Okay, so Lyndon Dykes, once he is back, this is the, this is the time. We just got to pray now that he doesn't get injured again. Yeah, or else we're really screwed. <laughs> uh, now, I did make some transfers because what I've basically done is I've done the updated database of all the transfers, but not the updated database for all the leagues. Yeah. So I think like Luton and Burnley and that are still in this league because I don't think it affected QPR too much, to be honest. Right. And I think when you do that, with teams in the championship that are not necessarily going up or down and you've got Leicester, Southampton and all the teams coming down, it makes it a little bit unfair. Yeah. So I've just done, I've just left it as it is, but every all the transfers are updated. So we've got the likes of Jack Colback and Steve Cook coming in from Forest. Obviously the players going out as well. There's quite a few players that have gone out. Then I realized I needed to sign some players because we didn't have any, but we had no money either. So I brought in two players from the MLS on loan, but they're only here for half the season. So we've got <laughs> Jack McLean. Uh, his contract runs out. Good, is it? <laughs> his contract runs out in March and he goes back to the MLS. Same as David Ayala. Uh, he comes in until March and then he's so, also... So we just go, we're not in that relegation zone at March. Two thirds really. of the season, they might help us out. They're not even amazing players, if I'm honest. They're, they're good enough to start though. And then finally, I signed Victor Ruiz on a permanent deal as a backup well, centre-back. he looks good. Yeah, I mean, he's, he is 33. I oh, know, yeah, but uh, he's... With no pace. But he's good enough and he's, he's experienced. Experience is the main thing here, isn't it? We, we need Absolutely. someone just to just push our players around a bit, don't we? Yeah. So going back to the tactic screen, with Lyndon Dykes now back in and with this tactic, I thought, I, you know, I couldn't have... I didn't have much choice. I had to go to something. I thought I'd just trial out my friend's tactic. It's actually really good. It's on the strikerless.com website, should you want to try it. Uh, shout out to Guido Murray and his strikerless.com website. I absolutely love it. I love that tactic, by the way. It's good fun. But being serious now, QPR fans, we're going with this. The best 11 does look like this. So Ayala does come in. Sam Field is very good. Right. Okay, so Sam Field, part of the QPR team for the last few years, is very good. Jack Colback, of course, from Forest. They've got Chris Willock on the left-hand side there. Decent winger, especially for the championship. We've got this guy here, uh, Elias Chair, who I can't remember when they signed him. and it's, I think it was recently, to be fair. No, he's been there for ages, since 2016-17. He's been there for a while in the championship, mainly then they're, they're, they're goal threat their attack midfield threat he's actually quite good as well yeah. for this this division we've got steve cook and ruiz at center back uh begovich in goal you can always rely on cooking okay anyway. yeah one of the main reasons why i didn't do it the year after is a lot of these players that they've signed are on one-year deals right. the likes of begovich now if you start a year into the future begovich even though he only signs this year counts on the game as playing the year just gone which means his year contract would have run out anyway yeah and he leaves so i wouldn't have had like the likes of begovich so we're going from this point um begovic is in the rest of the team like bench wise not that good <laughs> i'm honest <laughs> we're being brutally honest qpr i mean it's, this time last year just our physio was quite good there because we yeah. can't afford no injuries whatsoever this time last year they were decent yeah, they were yeah. top of the championship yeah, they were, for a yeah. while then their, their manager committed to the future by yeah. not going to wolves where did he go then he went to rangers a month later <laughs> Michael, be, 
I can believe that. <laughs> so QPR fans, I do feel for you. You've asked, been asking for this for a yeah. while. We're going through those uh, ones that's been requested for a while. We've Sheffield United a couple of weeks back. It's this week. It's QPR. How have we started? Hey, we've started all like right. That. We've started all right. I know, I know. Blackburn, unfortunately, was a loss at the start of the season. And think about how many games we had to play with our striker. Yeah. Because <laughs> Lyndon Dykes was injured very early on. It might have been one of these games he got took off. Uh, but he was injured very early on. And then we played without a striker. And we've done very well because we've only lost in the championship after that Blackburn game to Watford, which is a difficult game, of course. Yeah. 92nd minute oh, so that they scored. Well, very annoying. Uh, we also dropped points away at the Stadium of Light, which is nothing to be like snuffed at whatsoever. No. Uh, Jack McGlynn got sent off in the 90th minute, probably celebrating Jack Kovac's 89th <laughs> minute goal. Uh, he took his shirt off. They're like, you can't do that over here. I don't care what you do in the MLS. But there we go. But some big wins... Blackpool, 3-2. Rotherham, 4-3. Lovely stuff on a 4-3 against Hull. We are conceding a lot of goals, but remember, we were using that strikerless tactic to begin yeah. with. So we don't really know how this tactic's actually going to perform. We could be like, this is an amazing start. And then we use this tactic and go, whew, <laughs> right down. <laughs> so we've gone through the Cups as well, because we've not played two rounds of the Cups. Two rounds of the Cups. Reading cup. in Sutton, so yep. well, we're on a Cup run as well. We're on a Cup run. We go into the next round against West Brom. So who knows? What can happen? West Brom. West Brom. So talking of cup runs, yeah. League Cup. This is the only trophy we've won. 1966, yeah. right. 67 season. Yeah. We beat West Brom in the final. Yep. At 3 2. Nice. And it was the first League Cup final played at Wembley. Wonder where it was played before that oh, then. I didn't say, but it was the first time the League Cup played yeah. at Wembley and we beat West Brom 3 2. Oh, there we go. So we've got a bit of a cup history with West Brom as well. Nice so we, bit of trivia. At the our start. only cup history, should I say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Loftus, Loftus Road, very old stadium, 1917. I've got a little story about that one as well. Go on then, give it to us right now. Right now. We played at 20 places before we went to Loftus Road. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> We finally found Loftus Road in 1970. Or did you mean we played all our away fixtures first? <laughs> yeah. We need a ground, but could we yeah, play everybody we'll away first? We'll play everywhere else. Yeah. We played at 20 different places before we got to Loftus Road. Right. I couldn't believe that when I read it, because usually it's like over so many years, but no, this is before we started at Loftus Road. Now, name all 20. All right, it was them. <laughs> He's Queens, so bad with names Queen, and his memory, there's no way of doing that. It was Park Field, I know that. Right. I've read it after oh. that. <laughs> One out of 20, I'll take. I'll take that. Right, first season with... With QPR, this one's going to be a fun one. Let's see how we do. Okay, first season, eighth place. I'll take that. Definitely, 100%. I'll definitely take yeah. that. Uh, so, Middlesbrough going up in the playoffs. They beat Blackburn in there. Not bad, 73 points. Just outside the playoffs, which is a little bit, bit annoying. Unlucky. Yeah, yeah but I think well, we, I think we needed to, to do that just so we can build on it now. Absolutely. Lyndon Dykes, so is the golden boot winner. Considering he missed the start of the season, that ain't bad, is it? <laughs> Kept himself fit for that. Andre Dozo got 10 assists as well. That's not bad for a centre midfielder. We've got to be happy with that. We've yeah. got to celebrate those little wins because we don't know how tragic this could be. No. <laughs> We've lost a lot of players now. Exactly, because QPR, they don't exactly have a lot of money. Uh, I mean, you've already seen there our trans budget for next season's 300,000, <laughs> despite us being in the championship. £41 million remaining in the debts, so we are definitely in the red right now uh, in regards to money situation. The other competitions, fourth round, and it was Tottenham Hotspur not to set up the FA Cup, third round by West Brom, so they got their own back for 1960. We've been in an FA Cup final as well. Have we? Yes. Was it Spurs? Spurs beat us, yes. 1 0 in a replay. <laughs> what are the chances of that? Be eliminated by the two cup finals that we faced. Okay, fair enough. So, squad wise, then, Lyndon Dykes pretty much carried the goals with 25. Although, I say carried the goals, 17 there from Elias Chair. That's quite generous, to be fair. Uh, he's unhappy already. He wants a new deal, that's fine. It wasn't like he wants to leave. Uh, 12 assists, though, from Dolza was the most this season. But to go up, I think this team needs. A fair amount of uh, yeah, a fair amount of recruitment. <laughs> we just don't have it, unfortunately. No. Not. A, I mean, if you go by transfer value, our, our most valuable player is Chev, five point eight million. So it's not like we can sell players to bring a lot of money in. We might struggle a little bit here. So with that three hundred k plus, we're already over the wage budget. <laughs> so we're struggling to bring in freebies as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. wage budget. Oh yeah. So which Dad is now like understanding the struggles that you're having <laughs> yeah. now that we do the versus rebuilds. I'm just thinking of sacking you and doing it myself now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's got his own channel with over a thousand subscribers. Thank you to all of his subscribers. Yeah, thank you very uh, much. I might put a video on it one day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see a video, let us know what you'd want to see Dad do. That'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? If you want to watch him build his Lego, who uh, knows? You're not doing video that. Right. Okay. Second season. Then we haven't got a lot to spend, but we've got to do something to not only better what we've done in the championship, but to hopefully eventually get ourselves into the Premier League. Before we do season. that, though. Manscaped, our sponsor in today's video. Let's talk about it. Fresh boar fall is upon us. And guys, it's time to clear those leaves from your tree for those cozy nights in. Because the last thing that she wants to see when she's getting a little bit frisky is to pull your pants down and your pant puppy looking all overgrown and smelly. And that is where Manscaped come in. Because they will become your best friend in your time of need. As will I, and I will join the wolf pack when you use my code Omega at checkout at manscaped.com for that 20% off free shipping and the performance package has got your back with the lawnmower 4.0 which will leave you with no nicks or cuts to make raking the leaves a lot less painful this masterpiece is multifunctional it has a skin safe technology blade waterproof and it has a little LED spotlight to trim in the dark. But you still need your slammer hammer to smell good. And the performance package has got that covered too with the Crop Preserver Bore Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Bore Toner with Smooth Aloe Vera Formula. You also get a handy travel bag, some nifty boxes, and a t-shirt too. And remember, of course, Manscaped now do beard trimming specific products too, and it's hands down the best beard trim I've ever used. With just one guard and a rotary wheel that covers any desired trimming length. Perfect! Manscaped are amazing, and you can look amazing and smell amazing too when you go to manscaped.com. You use my little code OMEGA at the checkout, and you get yourself 20% off and free shipping. So order now while you can. Dad Hagrid came to my door from Harry Potter and he said, You're a wizard, Luke. Because <laughs> this transfer window. It must be. Right, so Victor Ruiz went on a free transfer. He only signed a one year deal, to be yeah. fair. So he, he went to FC20. Now sold Sinclair Armstrong. I, I had no intention of using him for 650000 because Forrest just wanted to splash that on a terrible player by the looks of it. But I did bring in some new players. John Ruddy in goal as a backup goalkeeper, uh, although he is he isn't class the first I choice. He used to be a really good keeper. Yeah. Actually, he might be our first choice goalkeeper. Yeah, probably will be, uh, yeah. Okay. Then it's three loan deals, and that is it. So if I manage to do anything with this team, unbelievable. Bubakar Traore, centre defensive midfielder from Wolves. He's okay. Yeah. He's all right. Callum Doyle from Manchester City. Uh, he might be going to Wolves in real life. Yeah. Funny enough, we've we just, literally yeah, we just, just seen that yeah. on Sky Sports News as we're recording this. And Joe Hugo from Manchester United on loan is a backup striker. He's, uh, a, he's an happy so. Doesn't he? look happy about it at all. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where am is, I going? Yeah. QPR, are you sure? Yeah, I mean, fair <laughs> enough, Joe. Um, he's like, Man United to QPR. <laughs> yeah. uh, but there we go. Tactically, I'm keeping it as it was because, all things considered, that wasn't a bad season. No, it wasn't. It was a very good season, yeah. So, so we'll see how This is going to be an order season, I think. Yeah. Uh, we've just got to rely, basically, on Lyndon Dykes destroying defences with his with his power. We've got the inside forward of Chris Willock. Our front three is okay. It's just the rest of the team. We just need them to do something. Yeah. Uh, but with the lack of money and funds, maybe not this year. <laughs> we have started very well. Yeah. However, Huddersfield, 4-0. Great start. We then won in the cup against that in Orient, but Hull knocked us out of that on penalties. That's unfortunate. That's not a priority, though, because then we beat Derby 5-1. We That's didn't just beat them. Result. Yeah, we destroyed them. At their place as well. And West Brom 3-1. That's another good result. Lovely stuff, which currently puts us top of the championship. Yeah, we'll call it a day now. Yeah, we're the only <laughs> team to win all three from three. <laughs> yeah. There we go. And Lyndon Dykes and Chair are both sharing the golden boot right now with five goals each. Very good start for QPR. Yes. Will it last? And we got Hull again now, look. Yeah. I Will it last? Let's go for playoffs. Let's go for the playoffs. Playoffs finish. Yeah, let's go for it. Come on. Optimism. Come on. I love it. Okay, second season. Let's simulate how we do. Oh, we have done it. Playoff winners. Oh, get in. I didn't think we won it then as well. <laughs> 3-2 beating Blackburn in the final. Get in. 
That's a hell of a game as well. That is hell of a game. Right. Well, I didn't expect us to go up that, that quick, I must admit. Uh, especially how bad this team was in that second season. <laughs> how bad are we going to be in the Premier League? I know. <laughs> I'm almost like, oh no, we've won up too early. We should have won up in the last season, really. Yeah. Just left everybody else. But then it, it looked like it was just getting worse every yeah. single season. So it might be a blessing in disguise. That's a hell of a result, 79 isn't it? points is yeah. not bad at all. I mean, I uh, far beyond the, we 20 points team. behind Bournemouth. But yeah, they, those two teams coming down, obviously, not expected did too much. Let's look at the golden boot though. Lyndon Dykes with 29 in second place there, only behind Balogun. Elias Chair got the most assists with 20. So a very good season for both of them who yeah. started off very well as yeah, well. Really good. Uh, who do we beat in the playoff semi-final? Southampton. Oh, wow, that's a result enough. That is good. Not bad at all. Right, okay, fair enough. Fantastic stuff. Other competitions, cup competitions, how far did we get? Fourth round by Manchester United. Second round by Hull City. So we've been knocked out by both of our clubs in the FA Cup <laughs> in that fourth round each season. <laughs> goals wise, though, who was scoring the most goals? Lyndon Dykes got 31. 31. Nice. Uh, Joe That's Hugo, good. not a bad loan deal, though. 14 no. goals coming off the bench because he only started three games. I thought you'd have had bad. a smile on his face by now, though. Yeah, because well, yeah, he's leaving. <laughs> yeah. uh, 21 assists there from Elias Chair. Both of them are unhappy. They want new deals, which is good. So it's not like they wanted to leave or anything like that. So we're, we're all good in that regard. Dozel, though, is going to be leaving at the end of his contract, which is now unfortunately. And that's a shame. He could have been great for us in the Premier League. In real life, I don't think that would happen. If you're going into the Premier League, you want to stay, don't you? Yeah. There's no guarantee that someone in the Premier League is going to buy you, isn't it? Especially when there's no interest in no. it. No. And he, apparently he's delighted, so I don't know why he will explore his options at the end of his contract. <laughs> yeah. It'll be hilarious if he's he going to go into a, dark, into a dark room and, and who should I go with? Yeah. <laughs> Who would want me? Yeah. Uh, so right now, we're looking okay. We just need the backing of the QPR board, which is probably something every they're manager gonna, has said for a long time. They're going to give us about seven million. Seven? That's what I reckon. I just don't know. Try 38. Whoa, hello. 38 million. This is the Premier League, baby. We got to do <laughs> something. We got to stay in there somehow. 38 million plus a very healthy wage budget. Uh, financially, we are looking to clear this. 37 million pound, hopefully, because we are still in the red right now. Third season, we need all that money that we possibly can from the Premier League and try and do something with We're going to need another striker for a start, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, because we've only got yeah. one. How have we survived on just one striker yeah, across two seasons? Yeah. I do not know. Uh, you'd have thought it would have been a priority for me to get a second one in the second season. You thought wrong. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, third season. I'm going to put it on record. I'm going to sign a striker. Right, right, we definitely need one. Let's have a look. Right, so I did sell a player for 6.5 to 8.5 million pound, which, where was that money and offer coming through yeah. the year before? That would have been very handy, but never mind. We did spend pretty much all of our transfer budget, meaning that we've only got a little bit left, so we're very happy right now. Who did we bring in? Well, we got a million pound deal there in Reese Williams, 1.3 million pound. Good centre back, to be honest. Very tall, six foot five from Liverpool. Fantastic player. We have also brought in Ryan Yates from Nottingham Forest. He was on the transfer list. That was our, our, straight away the replacement for the player that we lost yeah. last season. Ryan Yates coming in, 26 years of age, Premier yes. League experience. Yeah, that's good. Good player. Yeah. Then we've also got Reese Healy, who is one of the strikers. Ooh, one of. One of, eh? The strikers. Finishing 15, in. that's what I like to see. Oh, yeah. But he knows uh, what the net is. 29 years of age, he's English, coming from Watford, just 600k. He hasn't played the last two seasons in the championship, and now he's going to play Premier League football. <laughs> uh, he did play for Toulouse couple of seasons ago and get 20 goals in 32 games so he is a good striker to be fair and he's played in all these divisions before maybe he's even playing the premier league one game there uh, another time with cardiff three games there so he has premier league experience just not a lot of it no nope. but there we go we'll take it still zeno de bass is a very good center back on this game we have brought him in 20 years of age from belgium and elect sold him for seven million pounds to us i think that's a bargain very good talent yeah, i like that then we've Here got we some go. freebies luca ranieri comes in good left back tried to get him when he was running out of contract didn't want nothing to do with us then he realized he didn't have any other options <laughs> <laughs> then we got Luca Ranieri. He's not uh, bad, yeah. I believe this is Claudio Ranieri's kid. Maybe. I doesn't say that. Maybe maybe he isn't, but maybe that's too much of a coincidence. Yeah. Love the mustache, though. I'm yeah. a <laughs> huge fan. If you cover up his hair, that looks exactly like what Dad did in the 90s. <laughs> 
with your with your porn tash. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> and then I even had the Kevin Keegan perm. We all went way at the back. Yeah, yeah, did, that's yeah. coming back in fashion now. You should you should get that back. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, I'll go. For and it. the mustache. Yeah. Oh my god, please do that. Yeah, that would be yeah. cut. You could be the style icon of this channel because I'm not one. That's for your sure. Your mum would leave me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> even more of a reason. <laughs> We're very sorry, Mum. <laughs> yeah, she uh, watches these. Yeah. Yeah. That's me in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> Dad will no longer be doing rebuilds, unfortunately, <laughs> going f- forward. So please send your applications in. Uh, if you've got a tash and a burn, <laughs> fantastic. Nathan Baxter comes in as our goalkeeper. Very good. Six foot three, 25 years of age. Left Bolton last season. He was playing in League One, but he got 26 clean sheets in 46 games. That's pretty good, isn't it? Only conceded in 20 games last season. Now he's going up two steps. Yeah. So not bad at all. Then we spent a little bit of money, £6 million on each of these players. So I spread the cost out quite well, I think. Yeah, yeah. Very good. We got Lianco, who's another good centre back, Brazilian, 27 years of age, six foot two. Oh, looks good, doesn't he? Yeah. 18 aggression, bravery, yeah. determination. That's what that's somebody a leader. He's a, he's a big fella, isn't he? Oh yeah. Six million pounds coming in. He played a lot of championship football last season, but he's played a lot of Premier League football in the past, and he's played in the Serie A quite often too. Uh we've also brought in Kevin McAllister, who is a right back who can also play centre-back or left-back. What's he, Dad? He's a good squad player, isn't he? He is indeed. <laughs> uh, he's only just joined Club Bruges last season, but we signed him for a million pound more. He got three assists last season, so I think that's quite good money, to be yeah. fair, uh, considering they paid a little bit more. Then, finally, Tierno Barry. Guy I've never signed, never heard of before. No. Our gra- my granddad's name, your dad's name, Barry. Yeah. So I thought, looks exactly like him. Yeah. 21 years of age, <laughs> six foot five, absolute monster. <laughs> uh, the French under 21 international. I very much doubt he'll get a full cap, but there we go. Four stars he comes in as our team. He's got one goal already. Got one, one goal already and one assist. Yeah. He was playing in the Swiss League last season. He got seven goals in 32 appearances, which is not a lot, but. At six foot five, with good jump and reach, bravery, a header, and etc. like that, I'm expecting to play the Lyndon Dykes type of role, but he also likes to beat the offside trap and has a bit of pace. Because there's a bit of both. Yeah. Uh, which I quite like as well. Reasonable on both feet too. Happy days. Uh, Barry comes in. Very good stuff. So, that's the players we've brought in, and I think we've done quite well there. I think you have done well, yeah. Yeah, Definitely. spreading the cost around. Yeah. So, we've changed tactics. you got to him, yeah. Yeah, we're going into a much more difficult league, uh, so we've gone for this in our third season. I do like this, this tactic yeah. as well, I do, yeah. I it's do. kind of a 4-3-3, but with a guy dropping get, off. If you get three good centre-backs, this is a good tactic to play, I think. Absolutely, and we've brought in two centre-backs, I think, yeah. with a couple of centre-backs that we already had. So, let's take a look at the quick pick best 11. It looks like this. We've got Richards coming in, who's a player we already had at the club. Of Taylor Richards just didn't play that much. He has been playing quite often. He's got three goals already. He's got three goals already. Lyndon Dykes and Barry up front, McAllister on the right, Ranieri on the left. Ryan Yates and Sam Field in midfield. That's a good midfield. Yeah. That's a that's an English core midfield right there. We've got Jimmy Dunn, Lianco and DeBast at centre back, and Baxter in goal with some good backup options. Yeah. I genuinely think I've done quite well there. Mid table? Mid Quite a yell. <laughs> uh, Dozel, by the way, guess who decided to stick around? Yeah, funny old game, isn't it? Yeah, he <laughs> signed another deal and then he starts on the bench. Unlucky. So there we go. That's the good side that we've got going on right now. How have we started off this season? Well, it's not actually been too bad. No, nope, no. Bournemouth away, we lost. Right. West Ham at home, great oh, win. Yeah, that's a really good win, yeah. London Derby, of course. Aston Villa away, we got absolutely tonked, but... Man, Man City, City at home. home. That's a of result. Who could only score from the penalty spot. Yeah. So defensively, I'm thinking we are on to something here. Yeah. Because they could only get Erlen Haaland to score from the penalty spot. The machine could even score from 90 minutes of open play at Loftus Road. <laughs> uh, he didn't like that close ground, does he? He didn't like that. No. All the fans shouting in his ear. That's right. We won Lifter in the next Dale round of the cup <laughs> against MK Dons. But we lost away, unfortunately, to Chelsea. From a Romelu Lukaku 91st minute goal. Well, we know that ain't going to happen. No, because he's gone to Roma. It might, it might even be a long deal. Chelsea won't play him, will they? they won't, no. Not even allowed to look at him, will they? No. So, Samfield, 42 second, uh, 40 the second tra- minute German goal. Chelsea tells the manager, off. don't even look at him. She's like, I need a trick. Yeah. He in there, he in there. Romelu, you've got to leave, mate. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, Romelu's already left. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, so, there we go. Not a bad start, to be honest. No. I would take if it carried on like that. Still, we finished around there. I'm still confident of 12. 12. <laughs> Yeah, bloody hell. No pressure whatsoever. Right. What's, what's the best position we've finished then? Because we have played in the top leagues before. 
I mean, yeah, obviously QPR was in the Premier League yeah. at one point. Well, oh, yeah. It? And uh, I, I would probably hazard a guess it wasn't when we were in the Premier League. It was probably previous times. 75, 76. Yeah. So, eighth. Second. Wow. Second and lost it by a point to Liverpool. Oh, I never would have called that. No. I never didn't. would have called that. No, I would have said fourth, probably. Yeah, yeah. But when I... When I looked at it since second I thought whoa that's worth a mention yeah yeah because I know they never did that well when they were in the Premier League no no but, um, obviously they, they splashed a lot of money and then it really backfired yeah, and they've, they've been they've had a lot of financial difficulties yeah they've the been so, like yeah. unfortunate ever since yeah okay third season first the Premier League let's see how we do come on First season in the Premier League and we are scraping oh, ourselves one. out of relegation. I don't know why, but I looked at the top first and worked my way down. <laughs> God, <laughs> Liverpool. Yeah. Liverpool again, are we second? QPR. Oh, that was close. Avoided relegation by quite a lot of points, to be yeah. fair. Uh, that end of the season, though. <laughs> It was a difficult one, and we yeah. did beat Chelsea in the final day. Another London derby oh, at yeah. home yeah. to celebrate staying in the league. <laughs> We've got to be did happy that, with that. Oh, no, I was going to say, did that stop Chelsea going above no, Tottenham? No, they finished in no. fifth place yeah. behind Tottenham. Manchester United down in ninth down there. That is awful. In behind Fulham, Villa, whew, not good at all. Uh, Leicester, finish, Wolves and Burnley. To finish above them three, though, I think yeah. it's good. Nobody surprising in the top scorers or anything, but we do have the top two yellow cards of the season, which is always something you want to aim for so you don't get the uh, the fair play award, whatever. Competitions, though. Cup competitions. How do we do? Oh, Fifth oh. round and third round. <laughs> A little bit further, though, than what we did last season. Well, we expected that, really, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. This season was all about survival of the Premier yeah. League, and that's what we've managed to do I mean, so talking far. of the Cups, really, we have been in three Cup finals. So yeah. I've told you we won one and we've lost one. We lost another League Cup final in 1986 to yeah. Oxford. Oh, right. 3-0, so... That's the three cup finals we've actually been in. Yeah, not great. But they have played in another match at Wembley, which was the very first Charity Shield match. Oh, okay. At 1908. Not, I didn't really realize they would do yeah, one back, back in 1908. They drew, they drew one each in the first leg. Yeah. Lost 4 0 in the second. In the um, first leg. In the match. In the replay. In the replay, they lost 4 0. Yeah. And I hate to say this it's to Man United. <laughs> so Spurs have beat him in a final, and you've also beat him in a, in a cup final. I remember it well. <laughs> yeah. I remember it well. Uh, Manchester United so they, fans, we always played talk in the about first that charity shield at Wembley, and they've also played in the, league, the first League Cup final that was ever yeah. played at Wembley. So it's not a bad history, really. Not bad at all. No. Uh, right. Okay. Goals. 15 for Tierno Barry. Lyndon Dykes got 14. It's a lot less than what he's been getting. But still, 14 goals in 31 games. Yeah. It's not a bad return, though. It's not, but you, you still want to, to be where we wanted to be halfway. You need a, your main struggle to be at least 20, I think. Yes, I agree. Uh, Taylor Richards did quite well this season as well. We've got no players who had an average rating in the greens. <laughs> We survived, though. That's yeah, the main that's thing. That's the main thing, yeah. And financially, we've got £46 million with not a lot of wage budget, so probably around about £40 million to do something about next season. So do you just buy two good players? That's You know what I'm like for like trying to split it around, and you? <laughs> Are you, Dad? Because whenever we play in this, you want to sell and you want to be the biggest we, Del Boy bloke in the transfer market. Can we buy Anthony Silver? Yeah, Anthony. Can we afford oh, him? Yeah. Can we afford him? <laughs> you, and, you and Silver. I love that guy. I know you do. Uh, okay, financially, though, let's take a look at the debts and loans. That's come down to £32 million and overall £51 million in the bank. So we're getting kind of out of debt. We're in the Premier League now. That's looking a lot better. Fourth season. Right. Onwards. Right then. My first signing of the window was a Brazilian midfielder, Botello. He looks all right, doesn't he? He does. Yeah. I've never heard of him before in my life. No. But he looks quite good. And there's always that scenario when you see somebody you like and he's from South America and you think, oh, I'm going to pick him up. And it comes up and says, he can't get a work permit. Right. He got one, Botello. Okay. He's in 25 years of age, 5.5 million pounds. He's played four games so far. He's not done that well, to be fair. From Gremio, but he's done quite well in the past at Gremio. If he doesn't get three goals this season after getting it the last few seasons, yeah. I'm going to be angry. Botello comes in. Nice start there to the transfer window. Then then I brought in Kassen Vender. Kassen Vender? We'll go with that. Good Croatian. squad player. Look at him. Look. Oh, you do love a good squad player. Yeah. 22 years of age. I've bought him for mainly this yeah. role, but as you pointed out... He's a out, bit expensive for me for a squad player. Though. Very good squad player. <laughs> yeah. uh, 
very good aggression, the likes of I off like. the ball for pressing, etc. Work rate, whenever passing. Look at, whenever I look at a player, and you go, you because I always says, I like a player with better aggression. Yeah, you know, it's, <laughs> it's weird. He keeps on going. Hey, I got enough aggression for me. And it's oh, like you're, a player gets stuck you're signing in. a goalkeeper. Yeah. Calm down. <laughs> yeah. So he's signing for twelve point two five million pounds, and he's got us a goal and an assist. He's got a goal and an assist. Like yeah, like I it. mean, he wouldn't have got that if he didn't have that no, aggression. He wouldn't have been up there, would he? No, yeah. that's it. Uh, I've bought him for a centre attacking midfield player. He's so we'll have a look, you. see what we've got from that so that was the two signings that we got and then we got a few more when it transferred over to the following season a freebie to begin with Sibiri from Fiorentina also plays center attacking midfield but can play midfield too so now I'm building up a lot of options Same, there no, good midfield, yeah. yeah he's not bad did you see how many he got then no I didn't two goals three assists dad <laughs> and he's a freebie <laughs> Right, we'll just pause while Dad writes his name down. Yep. Uh, yep. I like this guy. I've never seen him before. Likes to beat the offside trap. Good pace, good agility, good balance, composure, off the ball, aggression, finishing and dribbling. What more can you want? And that's literally all the things I look for. Yep. And there's 15s at least in every oh. single one. Yep. So right now, I'm really happy. The only thing I wish was a little bit higher was anticipation. But other than that, £6.5 million. Pound. He got 14 goals last season for Lecce in the Serie A. That's good then. Yeah, because... They are a terrible side yeah, in Syria. Yeah, they are. yeah. And to do that in Italian and football. And he scored 10 goals the season before that. Yeah, exactly, in the Serie A. That's two so, good seasons in that, really. Very it? good season for Pablo Rodriguez. Maybe, I dare say, a little hidden gem for everybody yeah, there to pick up. Yeah, I'm thinking about uh, this one as well. Pablo Rodriguez, very good. Then our final signing, because I realised we probably needed another centre back, is Joel Bussell. Very good at tackling, passing, marking. He is an all rounder who runs with the ball. Yeah. I've seen this guy, and after playing. Playing that tactic where we had to use the strikerless tactic at the start of the season, there was something that I really liked about that tactic. Yeah. So I implemented it into this tactic. And when I signed this guy, I thought he'd be perfect for it. We've got a libero hey. with two wide centre-backs. So it's very attacking-ish when you've got the ball. Yeah. But we still got the... I've changed this as well to a half-back, so he should drop back into the centre-back role. we still got the Volante on attack. The Volante on attack, I think, is the most overpowered position and role in Football Manager this year. That two DMs and one of them being Volante on attack or two of them being Volante on attack is just so good. It works very well, but now we've Especially got... Especially if you can find a player that suits that role as well. Yeah, they're very, yeah, yeah. if they've got like good work rates yeah. and, uh, and everything... Aggression. <laughs> And aggression. <laughs> so Libero comes in. No, he doesn't. Is, is Basso comes in as Libero. <laughs> <laughs> Libero comes into the tactic. Joe Basso. Oh, that's who I want to be playing there pretty much every single game. He should be as well. Uh, as you can see, a good, decent Libero on support. I think this is the first rebuild I've done of this year with a libero. I would say it definitely is because I yeah. haven't seen you play this tactic. Yeah, I think is that the tactic that yeah, that's the that's the strikerless tactic that we have previously. Wide centre backs, they got him on support. Very risky with Joe Purcell. I've got him on defend with the libero. Yeah. So it is slightly different. Okay. The pick without restriction, the best eleven looks like this. We've got Kassen Vendor coming in there in that centre attack midfield. Barry and Rodriguez up Ooh, front. Both the boys up there, eh? Yep. Sam Fielding Yates still in midfield there. McAllister Ranieri is our fullbacks. Lianco, Williams, Joe Bissell, Nathan Baxter. They don't mind it. Son, it. No, there's a couple in there. Sam Field, he's in there. Look, I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no other QPR players anymore. But yeah, other than that, they've all been signed yeah. since. But we've gone to the Premier League, Dad. We need to. We need it. Yeah. They're all on the bench. You've got right, a few so, players on the so bench. So we go from mid table this time. We'll see. Uh, schedule wise, how have we done? I don't mind it. Newcastle, 4-4. We scored as well in the 93rd minute and the 89th minute to equalise after being 3-0 down at half-time. It's always a big game against Newcastle. Big scoring yeah. games, isn't it? I love, I love watching Newcastle. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Man City, we got trounced 3-0. Yeah, but did he score? Yeah, he did. He no, got he seventh did, yeah. minute. We're not, yeah, but we're not a Loftus Road. When no. he comes to Loftus yeah, Road, he, he shits, shits himself. Yeah, 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 he don't like it at all. Don't Speaking of Loft Loftus Road, we won against Fulham. Yeah. Another London derby. Yeah. Two goals from Tierno Barry. Very good stuff. We also went down to 10 men. It's that aggression, you see. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Cheltenham in the cup, 4 0. Happy days. Then it's Everton away from home at the Bramley Moor Dock Stadium there. Brand new stadium. Beto, of course. Oh, of course he's there. He's there. Genuinely, I don't think... So they signed him in this save, which is hilarious. Yeah. Because, obviously, he was at Udinese the first two the first two seasons there. That's weird. Yeah. Because in real life, he signed for them yesterday. Yeah. 
And thank you to every single one of you, every single one of the 187 <laughs> people who tagged me in Beetle signing for Everton. Honestly, it made my day. Uh, and well, if, we, even me and you were texting, right? Have you seen who signed for Everton? A minute. <laughs> and if, like me, you put all of your mortgage on Everton winning the league, happy days. We'll all be celebrating at the end of the season. And what we'll do is we'll put half towards the night out that we're going to have once Everton win the Premier League <laughs> and half towards them winning the Champions League the following season. Thanks to Beto. But yeah, he's at Everton again, which I thought, Brilliant. that's hilarious. Yeah. And I've only just realised, to be fair, unbelievable player. Uh, so there we go. We beat them 3-2 away from home. Thanks to Reese Williams and Sabiri. Lovely yeah. stuff. Competition-wise, we're currently in eighth place. So that mid-table finish might be on the cards, Dad. Who knows? We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Fourth season then. Let's see how Come we do. On. Let's simulate it. Fourth season. <laughs> 13th place. That's all right. That's all right. We're nearly there. Yeah, we're not mid-table. We're just outside. Yeah. Spurs in second, but... <gasps> Spurs in second. Joint top. Oh, I lost on goal average. <laughs> you drew one towards the end of the season. Oh, Who was that? Us, yeah. yeah, but they lost one as well, though. United. <laughs> United yeah. cost you the league. But Liverpool, who did Liverpool lose the same game, though, look? They lost to Brighton. Oh. Yeah, our game, Brian, isn't it? QPR, though. Let's focus on the team yeah. we're here to focus on. 46 points. Way better than the 34 we got last season. Fulham had 34 this season and still survived. Uh, 12 points there for Sheffield United. Poor Sheffield United fans. Check out a couple of, of rebuilds ago. Yeah. We'll make you happy there, yeah, I promise, yeah. when we got relegated. I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> we could have. Who knows? <laughs> Good start to our time in the Premier League. We survived last season. We've gone up to 13th, that second season syndrome. We've got that We're out of the way. It. We're building on it. Yeah. Next season, we sign beta. We win the league. Everybody goes home happy. Yeah. Where did Everton finish? Below us. Ooh. Oh, he's, he's going to be one of the leaving. He? You've got to find out how many he's scored, haven't you? Shall just, I? Just a Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Before we even look at how many we've scored, Sean Dyche is still there. Apparently, their key player is Nathan Patterson. Are they joking? Pfft. Maybe he's left. Yeah. Beta, he's still there. 13. 13. Sean Dyche needs to be oh, sacked. Look at it. you got to look at that, Sean. Surely you haven't used him properly. He is an 80 goal a season player. Yes. We know that. We'll have him. Absolutely outrageous stuff. Terrible from Sean Dyche and Everton there. They should be sacked. Uh, so QPR, anyway, we've done quite well. Yeah. Minus 20 goal difference, by the way, but still. I'm Cup so competition. I'm so happy with 13th. I'd be happy with the trophy. Yeah. No, no, fourth round by Manchester City, third round by Brentford, unfortunately. But that's right. something to build on. Yeah. What isn't is the 11 goal scored yeah. by Tierno Barry. Still not there, are we? And 11 by Reese Williams. One striker. Yeah, it's not been very good at all. We're just very lucky that defensively we probably did quite well. Yeah. Uh, and managed to keep the goals out. So. Next season, £52 million. We need to do something about it. The one player I'm very disappointed in because he started 31 games is Pablo Rodriguez only getting nine goals. Yeah. We looked at this guy and went, oh, he's got everything, but he doesn't do it on the pitch. No. So maybe don't sign him. <laughs> uh, if you watch season three and thought, bloody hell, Luke, that was a really good really good signing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get him or season four whenever we got him. And now you're like, I've already bought him, Luke. <laughs> What can I say? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just sell him again. You're yeah, trying to make a profit. You're, just make a profit out of him. Yeah. Uh, he's already worth 8.4 to 9.2 on mine, which is a little bit of a profit if I go. did choose to sell him. So yeah. there we go. So we've got £52 million to spend next summer. Who can we bring in? Let's find out. When I start things off, I sold Lucas Casavenda to Burnley. All right. £20 million. Good profit. Yeah, £7 million profit. They came in for him, and it sparked something in my head that I wanted to try by changing the tactic. Right. So I thought, okay. I think you have to after, after the season we've just had. We're not scoring that many goals. Yeah, we yeah. Cup, built on something. We, we stayed in the league. Now it's time to try something. Yeah. So Cassavenda is gone, and I didn't replace his position necessarily. But I did bring in some new players. Let's start off. With some strikers. We like some strikers. Mbala and Zola. There's a person who writes in almost every single rebuild comment saying, Luke. Very good rebuild, but once again, you haven't signed in Zola. And every single time, and, and I'll tell you the truth, I've tried to sign him three times, but he never gets a work permit no. in the English divisions. And I always forget when I do abroad. But this time round, he was already in the Premier League with Fulham, who got relegated. Oh no, he just, he just survived, but he only got two goals. He's already got three for us, though. He's got three for us already. He scored 17 for Fiorentina yeah. the season before that, which is the reason why I already he did like get. Him. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. He's good. Very I already, good player. I already like him. Do you know why? <laughs> 
why? <laughs> no idea why. No? Uh, <laughs> 18 aggression is why. And he argues with officials. He's like dad's best yeah, friend. Yeah, of course he is, yeah. Very good. Uh, no, you want to sign him because he's 30. And as soon as they get 29... Mm. I would have been looking at it going, oh, he's 30. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I did sign a, a, a younger player in Kalamuendu who's only 24. This guy's a little bit better, I'd say, in my opinion, because... It's quick and good finishing. But Dad doesn't like, like him. Well. Seven. Yeah, but if he's going to be playing against the other player, you've got <laughs> yeah, one yeah. who's the aggressive one, and then you've got the, the whip calm it. one. Yeah, the, the whip it as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he oh. likes to beat the offside trap. Yeah. He's also quite good on the ball. He tries killer balls. So, yeah, he's a good player, to be fair. Very good. Arnold Kalamuendu, only £8 million, and, and he got, got 16 goals last season. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think that is two for us as well, so that's five goals between them two players. That's a bargain, isn't it? Yeah. Eight million for somebody who scored 16 goals last season in France. That's not bad at all. Very good stuff. So those are the two signings that we brought into there. Then there's more. Don't worry, Dad. Remember when I bought Theo Zidane? Yeah. I bought his brother, <laughs> Luca. Uh, Zinedine Zidane's son. He's the goalkeeper. I mean, if you just covered his hair. He looks exactly like Lucas Zidane, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, exactly <laughs> like Zidane. Zidane Zidane. He does look like <laughs> Lucas Zidane. But yeah, that's... I would have never put him in goal, though. No. As, as you know, Zidane's Zidane, uh, son being in goal. Really? Well, well he's got three of them. To be yeah, fair. I know that, but you'd think they'd all want to play out, wouldn't you? Not yeah, but he's would... probably the one that they bullied to go and go. Yeah, yeah, he's the, he was the worst one out of all three of them. Yeah, yeah, you were like, no, you go and go, Luca. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's like my friends. My next door neighbour, Ryan, when oh, he's yeah. two years younger, yeah. we bullied him into going and go every single time. Guess he was the only one who got paid to play football and yeah. was in goal. <laughs> well, I'm Ryan, you're welcome, mate. Uh, yeah. so, then, yeah. he, then he played against Liverpool and he was outstanding. No, it was Middlesbrough. Oh, it was Middlesbrough. Yeah, it was, yeah. Outstanding, yeah. yeah. And Neil Warnock came into the dressing room yeah. and said he would have signed him if you want for the fact he was 24, 25. I was, was going to say 30 then. Yeah, <laughs> no, he's a little <laughs> bit older. Uh, yeah, but he was amazing. So, yeah. played for Salt Ash in goal. Uh, so, Luca Zidane, anyway. Him and Ryan, exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jordi Osu Tutu. I don't know. He's Ghanaian slash English. We've got him as a good right back. He comes in. To be fair, he starts as our starting right back. Used to play for Arsenal's Youth Academy as well as Reddins, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, played in the Premier League a couple of times, I believe. Or did he not? No, he didn't actually play in the Premier League. But he's played the Championship. Played in League One for, for Rotherham. We've won for £6 million. Pound. He's been playing in the Bundesliga and the Bundesliga 2 last season. He comes in as a very good right back, to be fair, uh, as our starting right back. Then I've got Samaseku who 30 years of age from Mali he's one of those like buzzing ball winning midfielders kind of like a cheap version of N'Golo Kante yeah because he's got that good aggression anticipation bravery natural fitness and stamina so the teamwork work rate he can tackle but he can't do much else so he just like just win the ball back for you just go win the ball for me yeah. and that's what he does yeah uh, so we brought him in for 4.4 million good by that yeah not bad at all he's actually got an assist too then we've got Mika Marmol good centre back to be fair you can also play left back 25 years of age the only downside to him I would say because his attributes are decent as well is that he's only 5'11 which maybe sometimes you'd be crucified for in yeah for you uh, you'd be crucified for in the Premier League because remember Lissandro Martinez way too small yeah. but nobody said anything about Yuri and Timber who's only an inch taller yeah. uh, 10.75 million pound we brought him in for Las Palmas I think that's a good sign and used to play for Barcelona. So there we go. Yeah. And then that's all the signings. Right. So tactically, my changes. Yeah. You've gone from one to another really, haven't you? Yeah. So I've got these eight who is just be like, stop the goals. <laughs> and then only these two support. And then the rest, the three up front. But they've got specified roles, you see. Right. So we've got the pressing forward. What's good for a pressing forward? Aggression. Who's got aggression? Uh, yes. Zola. I knew, you'd, I knew you'd think about it. The target forward on support, Tierno Barry. Didn't score many goals last season, so I put him on a support role. Right. He's the one we pumped the ball long to. Yeah. And then hopefully, Kalamuendu can score some goals off the back of that. Of course, we've got Pablo Rodriguez. We've got Reese Healy who can do backups. Lyndon Dykes is also still at the club. The rest of the lineup, though, looks like this. If we pick the best 11, still Sam Field is in there. Uh, we've got Baxter. So still Sam Field, still a QPR player. Yeah, he's done well. In this fifth season, yeah. we've got 2-2 at right back. Samaseku there. Ranieri, Marmol, the new guys coming in in these wide centre-back roles. I, I quite like it, to be fair. So let's have a look how it's been doing so far in the schedule. We've got a win against Leeds United. 3-0 to kick things off. Good start. Pretty really good start. Yeah. We lost to Spurs, unfortunately, 4-2. Yeah, shit happens, Jake I guess. Madison scoring for it. Oh, okay. Aston Villa is a 2-2. Not bad going to Aston Villa, nope. taking a 2-2 yeah, draw. We're 2-0 down as well, actually, as yeah, well. Good comeback, yeah. 
Uh, Wolves 1 0 win. And Zola with the goal. Yeah. Knocked out of the cup by Fulham on penalties. I was hoping to do a cup run. A 91st minute goal as well to take Same us minute. into extra time. Yeah. Uh, then finally, the game against the best club of the world, Manchester United 2 0. Hey, yo. Old oh, Trafford. Currently puts us in 11th place for this, is our fifth and final season. Predictions, so, please. I'm going to go 12th still. I'm sticking with my 12th. Okay. Right. All right. Little story about the kit. Go on then. The I mean, hoops. The, the hoops are so well known for their kit than they really. Yeah. It's not much change in colour. Yeah. They started off with a dark blue and a light blue. Yeah. But which way do you reckon it went? What do you mean? As, As in, in stripes type of thing. What? So the, the, kit, the kit was, was dark, dark blue, blue white... and, light, and light blue kit. Right. And it was stripes. Okay. Which way do you reckon the stripes went though? So I'm obviously giving it away now. Well, it went up to down. Yeah, yeah. So half was like dark blue and the other half was light blue. Yeah. I just thought that was weird. They then... After Evolved so many to years, different. to went the opposite way. They kept the blue. Yeah. But they've also played in green stripes. Oh, really? Yeah, they, some of their kits was green. What, white and green? Yeah. wonder why they changed that. That's yeah. very bizarre. I, I am a fan of this away kit. I know it's going to be last season's away kit now. Uh, but I don't know what their kits are like this year. But I am a fan of that away kit. That's smart. It's, it's totally different, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I like burgundy. Fifth and final season. Let's run it. 12. I want 12. Let's simulate it. We haven't won anything yet. Yeah. What can we do? Final season, European Get football. In. Look at the teams we finished above. Our goal difference is naught. <laughs> and yet we finished that high up. Sixth That's place. Brilliant. That's brilliant. Europa League football for you hey. Patreon members. There you go, lads. Help yourself. Finishing above Manchester United and Liverpool. Not bad at all. Spurs nearly won the league again. <laughs> Four points off this time round. Chelsea won it this time round <laughs> instead of the Liverpool. Liverpool went from top down to eight yeah huge drop off there not bad at all Haaland gotten 38 goals they still finish in third they just can't work out can they sometimes no. like it's very bizarre but there we go I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely possible with that I'm oh, over the moon yeah. uh, we're only four points off Champions League football wow. I mean I don't think I've ever seen somebody get Champions League football without a plus goal difference <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious well hopefully we're going to get a lot of money in the budget and then you just go out and buy yourself a real top striker absolutely because remember Patreon members you take this on from now there's yeah. a lot of people who always go why don't you do another year why don't you do 10 years the reason why we don't do it is because these take so long to do and if you've yeah. ever done your rebuilds before you know each season just the pre-season alone is about two hours so if i'm trying to get you on every single week that two hours needs to be used elsewhere that's before we even record it so we don't do the extra six years on very rare occasions we've done it uh the 10 years we simply can't do for reasons that if I spend double the amount of time doing one video, I need it. I need it to guarantee me to get double the amount of views, which of course double the amount of money to make it worth my while. That's the reason why. Yeah. That's why we do the five years to set it up for the Patreon members. So patreon.com forward slash Gaming, the five pound tier. Thank you to everybody who's been signing yeah, up. Thank you very much. It's the highest we've ever had the Patreon. And that is of course helping pay dad's wages on a monthly basis we've been able to drop him a day at work and that is thanks to you guys the more of you that sign up potentially we could look at doing that even further and retire this man who knows <laughs> please <laughs> so that's how we've done in the league very good start i mean everton has just been relegated yeah, just is that. that because of Beatles left probably Beatles still there he's only got 14 goals Ooh. he's leaving though he's got a napoli i mean they know what to do yeah, with they him. Do, They'll yeah. know. It's pretty really we could have bought him. Yeah, he'll they'll, he'll probably put Osama on the bench. <laughs> yeah. uh, so there we go. Right, okay. Competitions. How have we done? Quarter final by oh. Arsenal. That's the furthest we've got so far. Second round by Fulham. That was unlucky, wasn't it? Yeah. But next season, Europa League football. Uh, let's take a look, though. 20 goals from Callum Uendu and Zola got 18. Pablo Rodriguez chipped in with 18. So we nearly, we nearly have three players in the 18s, though. Yeah, he booked his ideas up. Look what happens when we finished in the league. Yeah. All right, we, we finished the goal difference of naught, but here we go. Tierno Barry only got 11 with 10 assists, but he is rated as the highest player right now for the yeah. senior team with a very good average rating. So he has progressed quite a lot, to be fair. Yeah. Not a bad player. Now he's in 24 years of age. That's six foot five, absolute monster up front. So, transfer-wise, for you Patreon members, if you do take on £56.69 million to build a Europa League team. So, make sure you do let us know how you do if you decide to take it on. Yeah. We'd love to see how you get on. But thank you very much for watching. Dad, what have we got coming up next week? Because, of course, the Versus Rebuild last week was the Milan Derby. This week, 
We are going to a different country. Where are we going? The Netherlands. The Netherlands. Yes. Yes. A but lot of people. will it be the team you think it's going to be? Well, a lot of people keep on writing in, and we had already started it, but after people started saying, the problem was, this, you this, need to do Ajax and yeah. Feyenoord. The problem is there's three teams there, really, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to upset some fans, but we're going to make some other fans happy. It was just one of those things, isn't it? Maybe the team that we've missed out, We'll go back eventually and do another rebuild over there. Absolutely. And we'll re-involve the team that we've missed out. But next but that's week, where we are. it is a versus rebuild. And it's a good one. And it's a bloody good one. Yeah, we haven't quite finished it yet, but it's good. Yeah, and it's in the Netherlands. So make sure you check that out. If you haven't seen last week's one where we do the Milan derby, make sure you check that one out too. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next Monday for that rebuild. See you soon. Bye-bye.